I'll never forget leaving the team out through the tunnel, seeing the, the sea of red at the stadium and, and where we happened to run out at the Gabba in Brisbane there. Um, our race, as they call it, at the, the AFL grounds and the cricket grounds, the race came out and directly had us staring at a whole grandstand of red. And that was a real shock. We've been besieged by people wearing Lions jumpers. They're here in force. Over 10,000 of them have travelled out with supporters groups and individually, and they've really set up a fantastic atmosphere. You definitely didn't feel like you were playing at home. Like, it was almost the noise. Again, that noise that they made it was something that you'd expect when you played away from Australia. Like, you were running onto Carter Farms or you were running onto Twickenham or you, you know, you were playing, you were playing in France or somewhere like that which was foreign to Australia. That was the level of support that they had. What stood out most was just the crowd support. So you look up in the stands and there was just red everywhere and we were blown away by the support they had and I think the Australian public, the Australian rugby public, the supporters that come to watch the Wallabies uh, probably learned a lesson there in terms of crowd support, in terms of how to be a fan. As we're driving to the game, I remember everyone sort of a bit shocked thinking, you know, there must be a, like an AFL game on here or something because the Swannies must be playing because there's red everywhere. And all of a sudden we realise, and, and as we've seen since, the, and, and history's been documented through their, uh, through their video tour diary, I suppose you could call it, that Johnson came back into the changer and said, mate, this is a home game. We are, we are going to win this one.